What's up guys, this is Xenios Haralambus and I'm sure you are wondering what am I doing here. So two days ago, I injured my back from deadlifts and I managed to fix it in one day. So how I managed to fix it, I did some specific stretches for my lower back that I basically, I prevented the injury to last for three months. Last time that I injured my back from deadlifts, it took me three months to recover because I didn't know what to do as soon as I felt the pain. So basically on Monday when I had back, uh, I, I, I do deadlifts, that's the first exercise that I always do. While I was doing deadlifts, I, I was right here, yeah? So this is the starting position of the deadlift, then I went up, and as soon as, as I was here, boom, I had a crack, and I immediately dropped the bar. So as soon as I had the, the crack on my back, I dropped the bar, I stopped the workout, and I started doing those stretches that I'm going to show you today, which basically prevented the injury to last for three months. Now, before I show you these stretches, I just want to clear out that I'm not a doctor, I'm not certified uh, whatever in medicine or chiropractor or whatever. So, this is up to you. If you want to follow my advice, I just wanted to make this disclaimer. Uh, just to be legal. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the stretches that I did immediately after I heard the crack on my back. So basically the first thing that you need to do, you need to lie, lay down on the ground, just like this, and make sure once you lay on the ground, you don't have any pressure on your lower back. So basically, you need to, to relax. So now I'm relaxed, I don't put any pressure on my lower back. And usually, you will feel a little bit of pain uh, at the beginning because you just injured your back. But the pain will start to go away uh, slowly, slowly. So as soon as you're in this position, and you don't have any pressure on your lower back, for example, now I don't have any pressure, then what you need to do after maybe one minute, you need to go into this position. So again, my lower back is fully relaxed and uh, I, I, I don't really put any pressure on it. So you stay again here for one minute, you completely re relax. And then the last thing that you want to do is to get into this position and again I'm not putting any pressure on my back at the moment I'm just fully relaxed and all the pressure is on my hands but I, in this position you are stretching your lower back so as soon as you finish with this stretch the next thing that you need to do I want you to lay down on the ground again so as soon as you are here you need to to go into this movement so basically this movement again is going to stretch my back so now I'm, I'm fully relaxed on my lower back and I'm putting pressure on my knees and I try to touch my knees on my chest in order to get again the stretch on my lower back. So you can also do this movement. And the key to this stretch is again is to be fully relaxed in, in the core area. Because if you are fully relaxed, it's very easy to, to stretch the lower back. So the next thing that you need to do after you are done with this one, I want you to go into this position. So my shoulders are on the ground. My left knee goes on the side. And now I'm, I'm, I'm going to again touch my shoulders on the ground. Did you hear that? <laughs> so now I'm stretching again my, my whole spine right now and especially the lower back. So if you want to put more pressure you just need someone to push you down from, from this side, but you, you need to be careful while you are doing those stretches. So, 
that was the left side and it's also the same on the right side. So you get into this position and then, oh, did you hear that? So basically now I'm not putting any pressure on my lower back here, yeah? you know, you have to be fully relaxed. Okay, so those are the two basic stretches and one other thing that uh, I did to, to fix my, my lower back, I also used the foam roller. So the foam roller, unfortunately I don't have it right here, but I've shown this on my previous video. The foam roller helps you a, a lot to reheal the pain from your lower back. It's not uh, a permanent solution, but uh, it really helps you a lot. So again, I will also recommend you the foam roller, but most importantly, do those stretches because they will help you a lot to, a lot to, to stretch the, the lower back. So this is what I did and I managed to fix my back in just one day and I'm so happy that I will be back again doing deadlifts. But trust me guys, the pain was super painful when I heard the crack on my back and it was so nasty when I heard it. And uh, thankfully I managed to fix it using those stretches. And one more thing that I cannot show you at the moment is basically I use the, the pull-ups. So I usually uh, hang down from the pull-ups and I do some twitches with my back slowly, slowly. So that's another tip to do if you get the injury. So this is very important to do those exercises once you get the injury and basically do not continue your workout once you get this injury on your lower back, but you need to take action immediately. If you take action immediately, you are probably going to prevent the pain to last for three months. So that's it for this video guys, uh, let's hit 200 likes in this video if you enjoy this type of content which are very simple but very informative at the same time. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you are uh, new. If you are already subscribed to my channel, make sure you turn on notifications, very important to turn on notifications. I upload videos three times per week and I'm going to see you again on my next video. Make sure you also you follow me on my social media, on my Snapchat and Instagram. the gym. Ooh, so I'm going to do my workout over here today. Uh, I'm gonna train legs and uh, I'm not gonna go really heavy.